This is the second video in the market structures series in the IB um, microeconomics high level only component. And this will be part two of perfect competition. So when talking about perfectly competitive firms, there are two concepts that are very important to remember. The first is the concept of the shutdown price and the second is the concept of the break-even price. Now the concept of the shutdown price applies mainly in the short run. The shutdown price is the price where, um, sorry, is the level of output where price equals average variable cost. It is the level of output where total revenue is just enough to cover the variable costs but does not cover fixed costs. Any price below the shutdown price, the firm will decide to shut down in the short run because if the price is below the average variable cost, it's actually cheaper to shut down in the short run uh, because you'll be paying just your fixed costs, so you'll be minimizing your losses. So remember, the shutdown price occurs at the level of output where price equals average variable cost in the short run. The second concept is that of the break-even price. This is the price at which a firm is able to make normal profit in the long run. So this concept applies in the long run, unlike the shutdown price. This means that the firm will break even. Okay, It will cover all of its costs, including its opportunity costs or its implicit costs. The break-even price occurs where price equals average total cost or equals average cost in the long run. So remember... Shutdown price is the level of output where price equals average variable cost, and that applies in the short run. Break-even price applies in the long run and is the level of output where price equals average total cost. So what do these two um, concepts look like in diagrammatical form? So if we plot the cost and revenue curves, uh, where we put price, revenues, and costs in the vertical axis and output in the horizontal axis. Uh, the shutdown price is this price here, P equals AVC. It is the point where uh, uh, if uh, the price is equal to average variable cost in the short run, uh, this will be the shutdown price and this will be the level of output here. And in the long run, it's where price equals average variable cost. So there it is. It is where the marginal cost curve intersects the average cost curve. And this will be the break-even uh, level of output. This will be the shutdown uh, level of output. So shutdown price, P equals AVC. Break-even price, P equals AC in the long run. Two other very important concepts uh, when it comes to talking about market structures are the concepts of allocative efficiency and productive efficiency. Allocative efficiency occurs where suppliers are producing the optimal mix of goods and services required by consumers. This definition is taken from the um, Blink and Dorton IB Economics course companion ebook. So allocative efficiency occurs where marginal cost equals average revenue. We know that average revenue is the same thing as price. So it occurs where marginal cost is equal to price. If we are talking about an industry that has a lot of um, externalities, then allocative efficiency occur, will, occurs at an output where marginal social cost equals marginal social benefit. So we said that allocative efficiency occurs where um, marginal cost is equal to price or marginal cost is equal to average revenue. Now a perfectly competitive firm will achieve allocative efficiency in both the long run and the short run. Because the firm is a price taker, it will always produce, if it wants to obviously maximize its profit, at a level of output where uh, marginal cost intersects marginal revenue and marginal revenue just also happens to be the same as average revenue. So the profit maximizing level of output and the profit maximizing price is also the same point where the firm achieves allocative efficiency in both the short run and the long run. So a perfectly competitive firm does achieve allocative efficiency. 
Another really important efficiency measure is that of productive efficiency. So one of the efficiency measures used by economists is that of productive efficiency. A firm is said to be productively efficient if it produces its product at the lowest possible average cost. Again, this definition is taken from the Blink and Dorton IB Economics Course Companion ebook. So, productive efficiency occurs when a firm produces at a level of output where marginal cost is equal to average cost. Let's see how a perfectly competitive firm also achieves productive efficiency. Uh, productive efficiency will occur at this point where the marginal cost and average cost curves intersect because this is the lowest possible average cost. So let's see how in the long run uh, we know that a perfectly competitive firm will only earn normal profit which happens to be the price happens to be the profit that occurs at a price where marginal revenue equals marginal cost and also equals average cost. So in the long run, a perfectly competitive firm will always achieve productive efficiency as well. Even if it doesn't achieve it in the short run, um, it will always achieve productive efficiency in the long run. So as I said earlier, a perfectly competitive firm will achieve productive efficiency in the long run, even if it doesn't necessarily achieve it in the short run. Uh, this is a situation where, uh, in the short run where the firm has allocative efficiency because it's producing at a level where price is equal to marginal cost, uh, but not productive efficiency because, as you can see here, marginal cost does not equal average cost at the level of output, um, profit maximizing level of output. So at Q star... Uh, uh, marginal cost does not intersect average cost. Here, uh, the firm is making an abnormal profit, which is that shaded box here in blue. Here is another situation in the short run where the firm is achieving allocative efficiency because um, price is equal to marginal cost, but not productive efficiency because marginal cost does not equal average cost at the profit maximizing level of output. So here, at Q star, where um, marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost, the firm is making a loss or a negative economic profit equal to that box shaded in uh, blue. So while it is achieving allocative efficiency, it's not achieving productive efficiency. And this is another short run scenario. And here, we know that when a firm is earning abnormal profit or it's making a, z a negative economic profit, so it's making a loss, because of freedom of entry and exit, firms will either enter the market or leave the market until, in the long run, perfectly competitive firms will achieve allocative efficiency because price will equal to marginal cost as well as productive efficiency because marginal cost will be equal to average cost at the profit maximizing level of output. As you can see here, we know that Q star, the profit maximizing level of output, occurs at uh, um, occurs when price is equal to uh, sorry when marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost, and this also happens to be the point where marginal cost is equal to average cost. So we know that um, perfectly competitive firms will always achieve allocative efficiency in the short run as well as the long run. They might not achieve productive efficiency in the short run, but in the long run, they will always achieve productive efficiency because in the long run, marginal cost will always equal to average cost. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.